Hi, welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free maths videos. Uh, this one's about changing units and density, two different topics to be honest, but I just threw them in because they're both really quick and easy. Let's talk about changing units first of all. Uh, what do I mean? Well, if you've got volume measured in one unit, say meters cubed, how do you convert that into, say, centimeters cubed? Okay, and as you can see, the answer is 24 million centimeters cubed. That means there are 24 million centimeters cubed. Uh, what? 24 million centimeters cubed equals 24 meters cubed. Okay, how do I get that? Well, here's a shape that has 24 meters cubed of volume. 3 by 2 by 4. 3 times 2 is 6 times 4 is 24 right and uh, if I want to convert that into centimeters cubed well I would have to talk about this in centimeters right so that's 300 by 200 by 400 and an easy way of working that out is just to do 3 times 2 times 4 and then times it by 100 times it by 100 times it by 100 it means the same thing okay so I've written that down 24 times 100 times 100 times 100 uh, which means every time you add times by 100 you add two zeros right so basically I add six zeros which gives me 24 million centimeters cubed now if I wanted to convert from uh, meters cubed to millimeters cubed I'll times it by a thousand and a thousand and a thousand so three zeros three zeros and three zeros and so for it because it's a thousand times a thousand times a thousand which will basically mean I'm gonna add nine zeros so 24 meters cubed equals 24 billion millimeters cubed so that's the rough idea now the clever thing is right I don't e even need this shape to be here because if I drew this shape so you still have 24 meters cubed but differently say I had it 6 meters tall and 1 meter wide and 4 meters deep okay even then that 6 meters tall is 600 centimeters so basically I have to times the 6 by 100 and I have to times the 1 by 100 because that would be 1 meter wide and that would be 4 meters so each length I'd have to times by 100 which is the same thing as I was talking about earlier on so 6 times 1 times 4 would be 24 still and I still have to times it by 100 3 times over so it would still be 24 billion centimeters cubed which makes sense right okay if you got one volume you should and you convert to centimeters cubed just because I changed the way it's kind of drawn if it's got the same volume you should have the same volume in centimeters cubed as well right anyway so that's that uh, the, the, the basic idea is to round that up is uh, if you've got say uh, five meters cubed in so I've got five meters cubed that's going to be 25 so it's going to be five million centimeters cubed if it was five meters cubed it would be still five billion millimeters cubed okay you just have to think how many uh, centimeters in a meter 100 and then cube that like we did that 100 times 100 times 100 and then times it by the volume in meters cubed okay uh, what's another example that I was thinking of say you've got kilometers cubed and I want to convert it to meters cubed where there's a thousand meters in a kilometer so basically I do say it was f five kilometers meat cubed that would equal five billion meters cubed that's it really and even if it's not a cuboid the idea still works you still have to times it by the the number cubed so if that was a cylinder and the volume was 24 meters cubed uh, it would still be 24 uh, million centimeters cubed which again makes sense you know if the volume is this if this volume is 24 meters cubed it's always going to equal 24 million centimeters cubed whatever the the way the shape is drawn so anyway that's that density what is density about well uh, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible it's so easy to make these things complicated isn't it density right <coughs> is the weight of one block okay one block may be measured in millimeters cubed or centimeters cubed doesn't matter they actually tell you in the exam paper what size block they want 
So they want in this question they want to know how many how heavy in grams g for grams one millimeter cubed of this stuff weighs right but they tell you also that the vol the current amount of volume is 18 millimeters cubed so I've got 18 millimeters cubed that means 18 blocks of this stuff in millimeters cubed right and the weight of this stuff okay is 36 grams so 36 grams is the weight of 18 blocks how heavy is one block one millimeter cubed of this stuff well all you have to do is 36 divided by 18 because I had 18 blocks here divided by 18 you get one block so 36 divided by 18 is 2 so that means one block weighs two grams one millimeter cubed weighs two grams and the way you write density is you say two grams per millimeter cubed for every millimeter cubed and that's it really um, you could swap things around you know so you, now you know that density is basically the volume divided by the mass I could say I want to know well, let's say what do I want to know I could work out say the volume of something how much stuff I have if you <coughs> told me one block is two grams and if I wanted a hundred uh, millimeters cubed of this stuff I times it by hundred you know it's so simple if I know the density is two grams for one millimeter cubed so a hundred millimeter cubed would just be 200 grams yeah so just start using your common sense for this topic it's way too easy to memorize any formulas or anything like that